Hey guys! So, on July 1st, Apple just released their next generation software for 2021. iOS 15, iPad OS 15, TV OS 15, Watch OS 8, and Mac OS Monterey. And today, we're going to be installing all of the public betas, but TV OS 15, only because, while TV OS 15 does have some new features, they're mostly just carried over from iOS 15 and iPad OS 15 and all the other new OSs. And also because I want to keep the video as short as possible. So yeah, we're just gonna be focusing on the four big ones. So yeah, let's get to it. But before we carry on with the video, I just want to say before you install software, and especially beta software, make a backup of your device. Because who knows, maybe when you're installing, something could go wrong. So there are two ways to backup your device that I know of. You can use either an iCloud backup or an iTunes backup. An iCloud backup is just where the iCloud backup utility puts all your device's data in the cloud but an iTunes backup is where it backs up your device's data to your Mac or PC in the Finder or File Explorer. And for your curiosity, I used an iTunes backup, so I'm all good. So anyways, let's carry on with the downloading and installation. So step one is to go to Safari or whatever browser you use, go to the search bar and type in beta.apple.com. And I know it's such a simple link to type in, but I will still leave a link in the description to the website just so it's easier and faster to get to. But anyways, you scroll down until it says get started. And when you get to this screen, this is the screen where you choose what OS you want to install. And since we're installing it on an iPhone, we're obviously gonna select iOS. Then you scroll down to where it says get started and in that little info box, you click the link that says enroll your iOS device. And then you click that. And then when you're on this screen, you scroll down to where it says install profile. And in that little info box, you'll see this blue button that says download profile. And then you click that. And then Safari will prompt you saying, this website is trying to download a configuration profile. Do you want to allow this? Now, obviously, since we want to install the iOS 15 public beta, we're going to press allow. And immediately after that, an alert will pop up saying profile downloaded. Review the profile in the settings app if you want to install it, which we obviously are going to install it. So, yeah. So step two, you want to go to settings and under your Apple ID, there will be a button that says profile downloaded and you want to click that. And then a pop-up will show the iOS 15 and iPadOS 15 beta software profile. And you want to go to the top right corner and press install. And then it will prompt you to enter your passcode. And then this consent window will pop up. And you just go to the top right corner and press install. And then install again. And then your iPhone will prompt you to restart. Now, you don't have to restart, but just for the sake of the installation, we're going to restart anyway. And after your iPhone is restarted, you go back to settings, you go to general, and then software update. And just like that, the iOS 15 public beta will appear right there. And now you just click download and install, and then it will prompt you to type in your passcode. And just like that, the iOS 15 public beta will download. And then after it downloads, an alert will pop up saying software update. The iOS 15 public beta is available for your iPhone and is ready to install. And you do have an option to install it later, but just for the installation's purpose, we're going to install it now. And then your iPhone will say verifying update. And then in a few seconds, the screen will turn black and your iPhone will install the iOS 15 public beta. <laughs> One installation later, and you're running the iOS 15 public beta, so good job for you. 
So step one, you wanna go to Safari or whatever browser you use, go to the search bar and type in beta.apple.com. And when you get to this screen, you scroll down until it says get started. And then when you're on this screen, this is the screen where you basically choose what OS you want to install. And since we're installing it on an iPad, we're gonna select iPad OS. And then you scroll down until it says get started. And in that little info box, you'll see a link that says enroll your iPad. And you click that. And when you're on this screen, you scroll down to where it says install profile. And in that little info box, you'll see a big blue button that says download profile. And you click that. And then Safari will prompt you saying, this website is trying to download a configuration profile. Do you want to allow this? Now, obviously, since we want to install the iPadOS 15 public beta, we're gonna press allow. And immediately after that, an alert will pop up saying profile downloaded. Review the profile in the settings app if you want to install it, which we obviously are going to install it, so yeah. So step two, you wanna to go to settings and under your Apple ID, you'll see this button that says profile downloaded and you click that. And then after this window will pop up showing the iOS 15 and iPadOS 15 beta software profile. And now you just go to the top right corner and press install. And then it will prompt you to type in your passcode. And then this consent window will pop up and you just go to the top right corner and press install and then install again and then your iPad will prompt you to restart. Now, you don't have to restart, but just for the installation's purpose, we're gonna restart anyway. And after your iPad is restarted, you go back to settings, you go to general, software update, and just like that, the iPadOS 15 public beta will appear right there. And now, you just click download and install, and then it will prompt you to enter your passcode, and just like that, the iPadOS 15 public beta will download. And after the beta downloads, the download and install button will now say install now. And you click it. And after, your iPad will say verifying update. And in a few seconds, your iPad screen will turn black and install the iPadOS 15 public beta. <laughs> One installation later, and you're running the iPadOS 15 public beta, so good job for you. So, step one, you want to go to Safari, or whatever browser you use, go to the search bar and type in beta.apple.com. And when you get to this screen, you scroll down until it says sign up and sign in, or get started. And when you get to this screen, this is the screen where you basically choose what OS you want to install. And since we're installing this on an Apple Watch, we're obviously gonna select Watch OS. And then you scroll down until it says Get Started, and in that little info box, you'll see a link that says Enroll Your Apple Watch. And you click that. And then when you're on this screen, you scroll down until it says install the watchOS 8 beta software profile. And in that little info box, you'll see this blue button that says download profile. And you click that. And then Safari will prompt you saying, this website is trying to download a configuration profile. Do you want to allow this? Now, obviously, since we want to install the watchOS 8 public beta, we're going to press allow. So, step two, after you pressed allow in Safari, Safari would have redirected you to the Apple Watch app, and this window would have also popped up showing the watchOS 8 beta software profile. And now, you just click install, and then it will prompt you to type in your passcode, and then this consent window will pop up, and now you just press install, and then install again and then your iPhone will prompt you to restart your Apple Watch. Now, you don't have to restart your Apple Watch, but just for the installation's purpose, we're gonna restart anyway. And after your Apple Watch is restarted on the iPhone, you go back to General, Software Update, and just like that, the watchOS 8 public beta will appear right there. And now, you just click Download and Install, 
and then this window showing the terms and conditions will pop up and you just press agree and then your iPhone will prompt you to enter your passcode on your Apple Watch. So moving over to the Apple Watch, you just press proceed and then you can enter your passcode and then your iPhone will download the watchOS 8 public beta and then automatically install the watchOS 8 public beta to the Apple Watch as seen in the video. One installation later and you're running the watchOS 8 public beta, so good job for you. So step one, you want to go to Safari or whatever browser you use, go to the search bar and type in beta.apple.com. And when you're on this screen, you scroll down until it says get started. And when you're on this screen, this is the screen where you basically choose what OS you want to install. And since we're installing this on a Mac, we're obviously going to select Mac OS. And then you scroll down until it says get started. And in that little info box, you'll see a link that says enroll your Mac. And you click that. And when you're on this screen, you scroll down until it says enroll your Mac. And in that little info box, you'll see a blue button that says download the Mac OS public beta access utility. And you click that. And then Safari will prompt you saying, do you want to allow downloads on beta.apple.com? Now, obviously, since we want to install the macOS Monterey public beta, we're going to press allow. So step two, you go to the downloads folder or wherever you save the file and run the DMG file. And then this window will pop up showing the contents of the DMG file. And now you just go to the macOS public beta access utility package file and click it. And then the installer will open up so you can install the macOS public beta access utility. And now you just press continue. And then the software license agreement will pop up. And now you just click continue and then agree. And then when you're on this page, you just click install. And then it will ask you for your passcode or your touch ID. And then the installer will install the macOS public beta access utility so you can install the macOS Monterey public beta. And after the installer's done doing its thing, you just press close. And then the installer will ask if you want to move the DMG file to the trash or keep it. But in my case, I'm going to move to the trash just so I can save some space. And heading over to the system preferences, just like that, the macOS Monterey public beta will appear right there. And now you just press upgrade now and your Mac will download the macOS Monterey public beta. And after the beta is done downloading, the install macOS Monterey beta app will open up automatically. And now you just click continue. And then the software license agreement will pop up. And now you just click agree and then agree again. And then the installer will ask you what disk you want to install it on. And in my case, I'm going to install it on my Macintosh HD. And after you selected what disk you want to install it on, you just click continue. And then it will prompt you to type in your passcode. And just like that, the macOS Monterey public beta will begin to install on your Mac. And after the beta is done installing, your Mac will prompt you to restart. So now you click restart and your Mac will, well, restart. One restart later, and you're running the macOS Monterey public beta, so good job for you. Oh, thank God I'm done with this voiceover. So, after using most of the public betas for the past few days, if you don't count the bugs, it was... A great upgrade. I mean, we now have widgets and the app library on the iPad, the new mindfulness app on the Apple Watch, the fact that you can screen mirror on a Mac with your iPhone and iPad. All of this is great, but what is the craziest thing out of all of this? The fact that the iPhone success is still supported. I mean, the fact that Apple is still supporting a six-year-old iPhone in 2021, I mean, 
That is pretty mind-blowing. And you know, I almost didn't get my iPhone 12 mini because my iPhone 6 has still supported the iOS 15. Because back then I thought, oh yeah, if it supports iOS 15, yeah, sure, I can still use it. It might have a bad battery, but sure, I can still use it. Of course, now that I have my iPhone 12 mini, oh yeah, I'm glad I upgraded from this thing. But anyways, that is the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Comment if your installation of the public betas were successful. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye. Hey guys, so I just want to say before you click off, thank you so much for watching the video, and make sure you follow my Twitch to see my gaming live streams, my TikTok for my YouTube sneak peeks, and my Instagram for my YouTube shorts. You don't have to follow them, but it is much appreciated. Also, click my YouTube icon to subscribe to my channel, because it really helps out. And click the video on the left to see my most recent video, and click the video on the right to see my previous video. Anyways, I hope you have a good day. Bye!